Rockford, Illinois is three toll plazas west from Chicago along the evil monster that is the Illinois Tollway. I visited Rockford, Illinois on March 13th and 14th, 2021. Instead of making one five hour long video to go through the whole city, I split it up into five different sections. The city is split up into these five sections in a way that each video will show a different part of the city in a socio-economic way. For instance, the northeast side of town is a more affluent part of town than the west side is. Also while I was here, I visited some of Rockford's suburbs and other nearby Illinois towns. This particular video is going to be my fourth video on Rockford, Illinois. And in this video, I'm going to be driving in the northeast side of the city, basically north of State Street and east of the Rock River. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I start this video heading south on Highway 251 near the Rockford border with Loves Park. As the title states, in this video we'll be going through the best parts of Rockford. To the right as we begin the video is the Cinesippi Gardens. And I mean, if Google Reviews gives it a 4.8, you know it's a good place to visit. Nobody can outrule Google Reviews, unless it's a rehab clinic or another service place that everyone automatically hates, where everyone gives a rate of only 1 or 2. This ain't no mental institution though, so let's put that aside. At Cinesippi Gardens, you'll find 62 varieties of rose plants with over 2,000 individual plants, along with a 32-foot floral clock. The indoor conservatory that you see is called the Nicholas Conservatory and Gardens, which has a nice collection of tropical plants. So, if you want to pretend that you're on vacation in Jamaica, grab yourself a beach chair and a bathing suit and sit inside the Nicholas Conservatory and Gardens. People will probably judge you, but if you have thick skin and don't care about what people think, what's the trouble? Now, granted, you would have been able to see more colors in the Rose Garden if I had visited a month or two later, but doesn't that mean that I just gave you a reason to visit Rockford? To the left, there's a building that overlooks the gardens and the Rock River that I thought looked pretty neat. Apparently, it's an office building. Might be the nicest office building in town. Shortly, we'll be going through Cinesippi Park, which is separate from Cinesippi Gardens. Meanwhile, if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places similar to the northeast side of Rockford can be found in my Rockford playlist or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. Cinesippi Park is a popular park in Rockford. It's platted on a couple of hills that overlook the Cinesippi Gardens and the Rock River. The park was dedicated in 1950 and there's also a music shell in the park that can support small local performances.
Next, I head towards another public garden that is nearby, called the Anderson Japanese Gardens. To the left ahead is the Anderson Japanese Gardens. The gardens were constructed in 1978 after a local named John Anderson was inspired to put one in his backyard after visiting the Portland, Oregon Japanese Garden. John and his wife donated it to the city in 1998 and today it's a non-profit entity. Another great place to visit if you're ever in town. Now I'm about to zigzag through some of the older neighborhoods on the northeast side of Rockford and along the way I pass by a couple of places of note. In the middle of this residential neighborhood is the University of Illinois College of Medicine, Rockford. The University of Illinois has four locations for its College of Medicine. Other locations are in Chicago, Peoria, and Urbana-Champaign. The Rockford location includes the Center for Rural Health Professions. If you enjoy golf, to the right is the Sinisippi Golf Course. It's the oldest part of Sinisippi Park, as the golf course opened in 1917. For the beginning parts of this video, I'll mostly be within the 61107 zip code. The 61107 zip code consists of mostly everything within the Rockford city limits that is north of State Street, south of Spring Creek Road, and east of the Rock River. There are a couple of spots along State Street, just north of it, that are within the 61108 zip code to the south, but generally, everything north of State Street and south of Spring Creek Road is within the 61107 zip code. This zip code is the most populated zip code within the city of Rockford. The population is 30,400 and is one of two zip codes within the city of Rockford that hasn't seen a significant population loss within the last 10 years. The median household income is $64,000 per year, and 38% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $138,000, and the poverty rate is a low 10%, at least low for Rockford standards. As Rockford is a city with a super high violent and property crime rate, this part of town is pretty safe. Current crime maps of Rockford show little crime in this part of town, with most of today's crime happening in the southeast part of town and in the west side of town. The other zip code that we'll be traversing through in this video will be the 61114 zip code, but that won't be until later.
Straight ahead is the Swedish American Hospital, one of the two major health networks in Rockford. It gets its name from the large amount of Swedish immigrants that settled in Rockford when the city was young. At the time, Rockford had one of the largest Swedish populations in the country, and the Swedish language was a close second to English in Rockford. Next, I head towards the Amos Catlin Spafford House, which is a historical landmark in the city. From the road, you can't see the mansion as it's hidden behind the hills and trees. You can see a cabin that I believe once housed the groundkeepers of the mansion. The Italianate style mansion was built in 1863 for Amos Catlin Spafford. Spafford was a farmer, lawyer, and a merchant who co-founded the Third National Bank. Next, I continue to head through the older section of this part of town before taking State Street East towards the far eastern outskirts of Rockford. If you watched my video titled as The Worst Parts of Rockford Where I Drive Through the West Side of Town, you'll be able to tell a major difference between West State Street and East State Street. Hence, why this video is titled as The Best Parts of Rockford and that video is titled as The Worst Parts of Rockford. From this point east, you'll see that a variety of commercial properties line the thoroughfare, lots of strip malls and other types of commercial services. I would say that within the city of Rockford, 90% of the town's retail amenities are located off of East State Street. That's just a guess from my own observations. It also seems as if most of the other 10% is located off of other east side thoroughfares. I found very few places to shop when driving through the west side of town and through the southeast side of town. 
You'll also notice that East State Street is a very congested thoroughfare as we continue. So if you're looking for a beach chair so you can pretend that you're on vacation while sitting inside the Nicholas Conservatory and Gardens, this is the place where you can find the beach chair. This is Rockford University, home of the Regents. The school enrolls around 1,200 students and is a private liberal arts college. The athletic teams compete at the NCAA Division III level as a part of the Northern Athletics Collegiate Conference. Among the most well-known alumni is Jane Adams, whom the evil stretch of the Illinois Tollway between Chicago and Rockford is named after. Adams was an activist and social worker who played an important part in helping women gain the same freedoms as men in the U.S. In 1910, she was the first woman to receive an honorary degree from the prestigious Yale University. When Adams attended Rockford, it was called the Rockford Female Seminary. She graduated in 1881 before moving on to other accomplishments and educational endeavors. The Rockford Female Seminary was founded in 1847 and was renamed to Rockford College in 1892. In 2013, the school was renamed to Rockford University.
I couldn't help but notice this particular abandoned shopping center along the way, as there's the faded out title, Circuit City. I can't tell you the last time that I saw that. When I was growing up, I always loved going into Circuit City stores as I could always play with the latest gadgets that were on display. Circuit City was a national retail chain that was founded in 1949 that sold the latest electronics. The last day of operation for any Circuit City store nationwide was March 8, 2009. That suggests that this shopping center has been vacant for about a decade. However, as recent as in the year 2016, the Circuit City brand is now alive and well as you can shop online through the brand's website, they just don't have any physical stores anymore, at least to my knowledge. Nonetheless, here's an abandoned Circuit City. As I mentioned earlier and in a prior video, this seems to be where 90% of the amenities in Rockford are located. This part of Rockford looks pretty alive and well, while other parts of the city look pretty dead. Next, I head towards a place called the Midway Village Museum.
This is the Midway Village Museum. It's an outdoor Victorian village with 26 historical buildings that contain artifacts from life in northern Illinois from 1890 to 1910. It makes me think of the larger Greenfield Village in Dearborn, Michigan while explaining it. Another place to visit, I suppose, if you're in the Rockford area. Next, I drive through what appears to be Rockford suburbia annexed by the city of Rockford on my way towards a Frank Lloyd Wright building.
Along this main road are several nice looking mansions. To the left is Frank Lloyd Wright's Lawrence House, built in 1948. Frank Lloyd Wright is known for his large collection of mostly single-family ranch-style homes built in the mid-20th century. Many of his designs are in Illinois, with a large presence in the Chicago area. For much of the remaining parts of this video, we will be within the 61114 zip code. This zip code is home to 16,000 residents, the median household income is $77,000 per year, and 44% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher. The poverty rate is a low 7%. Yet with having the most impressive stats within the city, the median value of owner-occupied housing is still worth nearly $60,000 less than the national average. I think that mainly speaks to Rockford as a whole more than anything. Remember, since 2010, Rockford ranks in ninth place in losing the most population in the country as it's lost 7,500 residents during that time frame. On top of that, the Rockford metro area has lost around 20,000 people in the same time frame, making it the third fastest declining metro area in the Midwest since 2010. On the left is Guilford High School, home of the Vikings. Among the most well-known alumni are the members of the band called Cheap Trick, Rick Nielsen, Tom Peterson, and Bun E. Carlos, former NFL linebacker Charles Polk, who played in the league from 2001 to 2008, is also an alumni. Niche.com gives the school a B-, so that's not bad. Next, I head towards the main campus of Rock Valley College.
This is the main campus of Rock Valley College, or the largest branch of the community college. Like most community colleges, there are several locations for Rock Valley College throughout the Rockford area. Driving through this neighborhood is like driving through anywhere else in Midwest suburbia. This part of Rockford is not the part that you see and hear about in the news headlines. Negative attention gets all the views and clicks, and then people will mostly go on to assume that the entire city of Rockford, or any place, is that way. You can't blame the people if that's all that they ever hear about a place though, now can you? I can guarantee you that my videos that go through the rougher parts of Rockford will get more views than this one, as people are more likely to click on a video that shows the worst parts of Rockford or any place, as those titles gain people's curiosity more. If you've watched most of this video without skipping too much, you'll see that this part of town has plenty of nice areas, so it's not true to say that all of Rockford is bad. This part of town resembles more so that of a soccer mom suburb. Time to pack up your minivans and pick up the kids from t-ball practice now. This thoroughfare serves as the border between the Rockford city limits to the south and the suburb of Loves Park to the north. I'll be going through Loves Park in a separate video later on. Up ahead you'll see that there are more retail amenities located off of this road, going on with what I've said multiple times now that nearly all of the bigger city-like amenities in Rockford are located on the far east side of town.
In this video, you were able to see the best parts of Rockford, Illinois. You also saw several gardens, museums, and other interesting attractions that are located on the northeast side of town. You were also able to see that there's a large part of Rockford that still appears to offer a good quality of life. That doesn't mean that the issues for the area still don't exist. Crime, drug usage, segregation, population loss, and job growth are all still huge problems that this area has yet to solve. I do end the video up ahead. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like the northeast side of Rockford can be found in my Rockford playlist or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!